How's it hanging? I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. Give Alex a special cuddle. Most special cuddle wins. The banana's in there, the deodorant's in there. The, use them if you want. I, I'm fine with that, so... <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Can you turn your ass towards me? Yes. I think there'll be a more snug position. Right. Oh. Yes? Yes. Alex. Yes, Bob? Would you like to shut the boot lid? Yes, please, Bob. Yes! <laughs> oh! How does that feel? It's very low. Too low? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> is that more the midriff, is it? The midriff, yeah. I'm so sorry about that earlier. I, d I honestly couldn't work out the angles. Alex, I didn't... <laughs> it's quite wasty. Mm. There we go. Well, that's nice. That's just under the breast, Lovely. isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. I'll give one little squeeze, and that completes my special cuddle. Right, I'm just holding the deodorant, is that right? That, you can hold it, spray it if uh, you're getting nauseous. OK, well, we'll just do... <laughs> <laughs> was that the deodorant? That was the deodorant. Ah, right. <laughs> Alex told me about this after it happened. Yeah. And he said to me that you had said to him, I have always been looking for an excuse to get into my own car boot. <laughs> <laughs> it was. And it, um, and it wasn't so bad in there, was it, Alex? No, you sang Have You Seen the Muffin Man to me. I did. <laughs> You wept. I did. I was, that made me quite sad. Because <laughs> yeah. of the memories, yeah. What, what memories? My father was a muffin man. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one is like the word commerce. It really means business. It was sort of a... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bob. A coconut, the largest of all the nuts. Uh, so the task is presumably in here. Well, no, I don't know. Something's in here. Make this coconut look like a businessman. You have ten minutes to plan your coconut businessman, and then ten minutes to make him. Your time starts now. Bob asked us to leave him alone in his dressing room. He was probably shy. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, we left him in his room. Uh, he asked for some pens and some other fruit, and he asked also to film it himself on his mobile phone. <laughs> Just to be absolutely clear, the task is to make the coconut look like a businessman. That's right. Let's go. Hello, I'm Mary down by your side, and I'm a lathe operator. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Slow Peter, and I paint prison gates, <laughs> and I'm a <laughs> businessman. <laughs> Did you, like, did you like it? Uh, I mean, I liked it. Did that coconut look like a... Show me the video again and let me, <laughs> let me revoice it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Barbara and I like horses. <laughs> My name is Quentin <laughs> and I enjoy ballet. <laughs> and I'm Morgan and I don't think women should be allowed to breastfeed in public. <laughs> You see my point? I do see your point, yeah. He just looks like um, a coconut character. <laughs> it, does, like, it looks like an angry I coconut. I thought maybe if he said he was a businessman, you know, that would get me over that <laughs> hurdle. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Ashling. Hi, Alex. Three tasks, three items. You can open them in any order you want. OK. Got central. Right to left, Arabic style. Mm. Okay. So as you saw, there are three tasks, there are three items on the table. Yeah. It's up to them how they did it. So we'll have a look at Bob and Ashling first. Uh oh Standing behind this rope, throw one item into the bucket. You may retrieve the item if it misses. But you must be stood behind the rope on every throw. You may not move the rope or the bucket. Fastest wins. 
your time started when you opened the first task and ends when you completed all three tasks. So I'm going to go for the wheat fix. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm trying not to show how incredibly pleased <laughs> I am by that. Eat one item, fastest wins, or Tom. <laughs> Eat one item. Fastest time wins. Come on, bro. The one item is the one. Oh, I really could have eaten the trigger. Get in! Balance one item ah! on top of the red pole. The item must stay balanced until the entire task is completed. You may not take the pole out of the ground. The fastest wins. <laughs> I mean, you said balance, so they are... Thank you, Bob. I've stopped the clock. Wheatabix throw, oh, where you get absolutely lucky. Absolutely extraordinary. Was it lucky or was it something else? No, it's not something I do throw Wheatabix in the bucket. <laughs> I just got lucky. Hello! Oh, Jesus. Oh. Here it comes. Ah! Ow! Ow! Be very careful. With this camera strapped to your head, Record the most incredible footage. You've ten minutes to plan your footage and ten minutes to record it. Your time starts now. I'm not going to have a poo. You're not going to have a poo? I'm not going to, but... I'll, I'll rule that out. That's my first port of call. I'm not... I, well, I'm not rejecting that. If all else fails, <laughs> that's what you're getting. It, it's often our contestants' initial impulses that are a real window into the soul, I find. <laughs> Bob. Yeah. <laughs> What's going to be so incredible about that? Do you do, you do some classic? Well, funny you should ask, because I have a little problem, which means my um, anus is too high. And whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> For example, you would sit like this. I would. Yes, I have to approach it this way. I have to reverse <laughs> Or it will all just go over the back of the you, seat you... and the toilet. <laughs> I personally think they should reverse the toilet. <laughs> if you like this on the toilet, you'd have a little shelf. <laughs> so all I was thinking, Greg, was that if I got a shot of it in profile, you would be a you know, would have been oh, good. God. Especially if it was um, one of the quicker days. <laughs> here is Bob Mortimer's film. Fingers crossed, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Get it. Even the idea of Bob pooing out of his lower back. <laughs> Bonjour, Alex. Primary school. Feeling. Vibe. OK. Just saying. Was it a happy time? For me? Yeah. My first day wasn't. Someone had done a poo in the sand pit. <laughs> Make a funny little flick book film. The camera above your head will take photos of your paper. Funniest, our funniest little flick book film wins. Uh, who in the sandpit? <laughs> I never know. I remember it was sweet. <laughs> That's all I remember. I mean, at that age, something brown and cylindrical, it's going in. <laughs> Pop it in. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to see Bob's first, who uh, did an instructional video on how to peel a banana.
there, Bob? I can't see a thing now, unfortunately. How many fingers am I holding up, Mark? Uh, it's a good example. I can't see that, for example. Ten. Great. It was just one. Well, it is just one, so now I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go for a little walk. OK. Uh, I'm going to hold your hand. Is that all right? I'd love that. Yeah, hiya. That's okay. it. Some bread. Wearing that blindfold at all times... Yes. On removing the blindfold, you will then have a another three minutes to retrace your steps to your starting position. That's here. Oh, right. Longest successful retracing of steps wins. Are you ready? Good. Your time... <laughs> your time starts... Well, I'm going to put a piece of bread... I'm going to take what I think is the bottom of it off. I quite like the idea of having this... Shape. One. No, I'll take four. Drops a bit of bread. I'm doing it very traditionally here, I suppose, but I can't think of any other way. <laughs> I'm going to remain here. You've got 30 seconds. I didn't come through there. You've got three minutes to retrace your steps. Thank you. Your time starts now, Bob. Oh, I never got through there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Have you retraced your steps, Bob? I have. And that is where I wish to be buried. There you are, that comes with age and experience. That, I believe, is the traditional cry of the Middlesbrough Peak Band. <laughs> <laughs> Bury me. <laughs> Bury, but that was, it was like a little adventure, that was great. Yeah, no, you did very well. You travelled 54 metres and got back to <laughs> pretty much exactly the right spot. <laughs> you could do what you wanted with the bread, but you left a trail and that seemed to work. Yeah, who, who wouldn't leave a trail? Oh, I imagine most of them. <laughs> Whistling a happy tune for you, Alex. Thank you, Bob. How are you doing? Unfortunately, I've, I'm sorry, but I've dropped the task. Ah. It fell on the floor, and then some of my loose change fell on it, and then some sand fell on it. I've got this, though. Just sweep it slowly and low. Got it. Oh, thanks, Bob. I'm not going without the cash, though. No, that's for you. Fancy sitting on that. You're going to sit on the head. <laughs> Why not? Create the best graph. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Let me just remember how a graph works. Have you started yet? You can't rush genius. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm using the landscape. Oh, do you know omnipurpose jaws of doom graph? I don't know that. That's quite good. The biggest urinators in the British Isles are the Scottish. Why's that? That's because their water's so delicious. Ah, my graph! <laughs> How far in that direction can I go? Because it's your I... graph, Mark. Oh, cows don't have it easy. Or oxen, do they? So I'll make it as big as possible, because the graph is meant to represent all the people that have ever lived and all the time we've ever been. I find this quite disturbing. Can I ask what units we're talking about? Units of... Y yeah. <laughs> Beach ball? Where's that? Oh. <laughs> Big graph, Mark. Oh, is it, it finished, you're saying? It's not finished. But to complete it, here's what we do. I'm really pleased with my graph. Who's <laughs> next? <laughs> it's Bob's. It's fairly obvious what this represents. <laughs> <laughs> On the Y axis, uh, as we all know, it's units of urine, and on the <laughs> on the X, it's the counties of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking of collecting vast amounts of, <laughs> go up to Dumfries and Galloway, <laughs> which I was. How, how if you, you only want, want small amounts, <laughs> e.g., for household use, <laughs> you might like to consider East Sussex. How um, how did you get these statistics? <laughs> no, that uh, absolutely accurate because I was looking into purchasing. <laughs> Gallons of 
Because <laughs> I was in dispute with the Woolwich Ferry man. <laughs> I thought, I'll fill his boat with... <laughs> where, do I... where do I need to go? <laughs> <laughs> so people in Dumfries and Galway, about ten times as much as people in East Africa. Oh, they literally can it stop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I only had time to stop for the one scotch yeah. pie, and then the stream started. <laughs> you, you what a life we have! For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.